Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike, we're back with another video. Thanks to my good friends at, right over here, Copart, Tulsa, Oklahoma today. Lots of cars and trucks in the yard. I'm on the other side of the yard today because something caught my eye. It is big, it is red, and it is lifted to the gods. Yeah, she's a big girl. Check that out, 2012 Jeep Wrangler with some big old IROC Super Swamper tires. Look at those, 41 by 14.5, 18, woo! Yeah, those are huge tires. Look how she's been modified. She's a little wet, okay? We had a lot of rain uh, last night and thankfully they have the big gravel here so I'm not gonna get muddy, I don't think. But she's a little wet, but she's an outdoor girl so she's used to that. All of this is just fine. A little water, who cares? I wonder how you do the gas. Is there room to, wow, ow. You gotta be careful when filling up. Look at the, look at the, yeah. <laughs> Barely fits, but it does, which is really, really cool. Okay, so you've got your nice huge spare. You got a gas tank on this side. You got a big old CB radio antenna. She's a monster Jeep. Look at the front of this thing right here. And the wind is crazy, so hopefully, my windscreen is gonna work good. Yeah. Woo! Fog lights, everything on this girl. She is huge. Even a winch. Thank you very much. Looks good. The old VR8000. And look at the headlights. <laughs> this is something I need in my driveway. This is something you would never expect Monkey Wrench Mike to even be looking at and look at the this little snorkel how cool is that yeah you love your Jeeps you want to go crawling on some rocks this is for you and yep right there she's the standard look at that extra little buttons right there even your armrest looks like a tire but that's pretty cool all kinds of things right here for you there's your CB this is a heavy duty hardcore Jeep with handles to get up and in. Now we're missing, how do I get up in this side? Yeah, how does that happen? She's been used. Oh yeah, she has been, and oh, look at this. Oh, look at that little guy. Hello. Yep, this rock crawling family had kids. That's cool, I'll just put him back right there like I found him. Okay, this is nice. What do you think is, oh, look at the water. Yeah, we got a whole, that's all water. Look at that, here, I can't get up there, but you can see, yeah. <laughs> she is stretched, 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 stretched. Even right here, yeah, okay. Let's see if she's got power. Let's see what's gonna happen when we turn the key. Going inside. There's no, I mean, I've got one here. I don't think I trust it though. I don't think that looks very sound. Yeah, I don't have one over here though. So the old man's got a, oh, we have a ugh, secret start switch. What is that for? Lights maybe? I don't know. Oh man, somebody short had this Jeep. Okay. On the inside, I don't think we have any power. I really don't think so. Let's just see what happens. Oh wait, there's, I think something has illuminated. Here we go. Okay, let's just try it. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. No, dagnabbit. Okay, I wonder what these are for. Lights. You got your wild boar handle right here, which is nice. Oh, that's just the sun. Okay, that's just the reflection of the sun. What do you think? How loud would this be on the highway? Yeah, she would be very, very loud. Okay, you have some switches here. Your rear locker, front locker, ARB compressor. I guess for your, is it air suspension in this thing? And this is kind of, oh, these are your wires for your 
door that are just laying there. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Okay, let's check out the engine. Let's see if we can even open it up. All right, these are, these are modified a little bit right here, I think. Let's just see if we can see what's under the hood. All right, so any special mods? Come on, little girl. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. There you go. Uh, okay, we have some wiring additions over here on this side. Stock 3.6 liter. And the battery is over there. And there's a lot of people around here, so we're just gonna have to leave this the way it is. But look at the vents. They have cut out part of the hood. And look at this, wow. That's been modded too. Okay, we're just gonna put her back under here. This is kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right, we'll put her back how we found her and then we will move on to the next one. This is really interesting though. This is really, really cool. So you wanna climb some uh, lesser rocks? Maybe go to the soccer game with your kids. How about an 09 Mercedes GL450? Mikey had one of these. I called it Oprah and other names and people got really upset with that. I don't know why, I thought it was a good looking car. This one has some suspension issues. Yeah, now these are air suspensions and a lot of times the bags right under here, there are bags and they will compress they will get a flat mine before I change them were actually sideways. Believe that or not, they were sideways. They had loosened up when the car sat and maybe when somebody moved it or something, they tried to reinflate and they came out of their spot, their little holder on the bottom, there's a little peg and they were cattywampus. Could be the same problem with this one and you're missing, oh, you got two flats over here as well. That's why she's so short, yeah. And we're missing this window. Any damage? Doesn't look like it. A lot of people don't like these cars. I do, I did, I loved mine. It was a good car, black outside, black inside. They had blacked out the wheels. And it was, it was cool, it was a nice little ride. This one has the tan interior over the gold. It looks just like mine. You have the little headsets in the back. Oh. I don't think she's going to have any power either, is she? Okay, on the inside it looks... I don't know what that is. Is that poo? Is that poop? <sighs> I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a definite smell in here. Okay, so you are going to need some vent work right here. Let's look at the engine, see what's going on. This thing towed, my thing, my car towed everything I asked it to. Big old V8. Come on, there it is. Oh, you get lots of little miscellaneous pieces right in here. This one looks like it's had a hard life. It just, it really does. There is room back here and you have third row seats. You got some Red Bull, so the wheel, I don't know if the wheel is in there or not. I don't think so. There's not a lot of room for the rear, for a real wheel to fit back in there. Let's just see what this does. Now mine had some damage here and here, but it wasn't a big deal at all. So, where's my... I can't remember where my plug is. Oh, right there, okay. Right in the middle. Yeah, because that exact same engine right there. Exactly the same. Got some spider webs. Got some leaves. Any sign of rodents? Some more leaves. Right here. A lot of fuses here, including your fuse for your, uh... yeah, I want to say it's one of these two. Are the fuses for your air suspension. The pump, I believe, lies right here or right here that keeps the air in the suspension and you going down the road. Sometimes, oh, well, 
Well, okay. This has all been cut. Oh. All of these have been... Okay, well, that's why she's on the ground. And this is a... That's a clean cut. What have we discovered? Yeah, so your pump is down here on this side. And those have been cut. So that's why she's not going to raise. Well, how interesting is that? Okay. So this might be a good buy for someone who needs something to uh, tow with. We'll put this back on. That one doesn't want to, come on, there you go. There. By the way, my thumbnail, in case you are wondering, is almost fully grown. It's been almost a year, and I've had like half a thumbnail, but it's looking good. So, man, oh man, why would that, why would that happen? I don't know. So you'd have to run the lines back to the different components, I believe. I don't think you could splice those. The lines themselves aren't expensive. It's the running back to here and on the other side that that's going to cost. Yeah. Hmm. Should we give her a start or no? Should we or no? Uh, so tempting. Could it be? Have I found a replacement for the 95 Ford F-150 that Randy at Auto Auction Rebuilds was kind enough, I'm using that word liberally, <laughs> to give me. Um, yeah, this is a 1981, senior 81, just like me. And it's a senior now, just like me. It's a little rusty, just like me. Not everything works as well as it should. Window doesn't go up and down, just like me. But it's a stout truck and it'll probably get me wherever I wanna go. I still got a lot of miles left in me. What do you think? You remember these? Yeah. I remember these when they were in the high school parking lot. Wow. She's got some patina. That's a good word for it. She does have some patina. Let's see the inside. Okay. Oh, you get your Haynes repair manual. Look at that. All righty. You also get a dash that has disintegrated and someone had some problems right there. A little flatulence problem. I don't know, this car, this, yeah, this, you're missing your dash. You do get a key. I don't, nothing's gonna happen though. I can't get in that side because the window, but oh, you get two keys. So you can actually lock up your car. Let's just see. And this is a stick ship. This is a, what is this, three on the tree? No, is it? Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. Yep, yep, look at that. A little three on the tree, baby. I would sit there, but that kind of scares me. And the fact that I'm even laying on this, yeah, probably not the best idea. Oh, you don't even have a glove box. This is a bare bones basic. This is dry rotted. Oh. Mikey should have looked at this a little closer before he decided to even walk up to it and walk around it and talk about it. Okay, that wasn't a very good, that wasn't successful. And of course, you have the best radio antenna I've ever seen. It actually goes all the way up through here and then attaches to the body of the truck. So the whole truck is your antenna. You can get radio stations from China. Oh, there it is. I better put that back. Okay. Well, very intriguing, but very scary. And I just can't. Okay, that's gonna do it. What do you like? You like the Wrangler? You like the GL450? I kinda like that one. Or are you a Chevy Silverado kind of guy? I don't know. C oh, it's a Sierra 1500. Yeah, that's what it is. Ugh. Yeah. That's, I, I, what would my neighbors think if I parked at it at my house? Or if I rolled up in that? That would be fun. That would really be fun. I bet it's loud too. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you for watching the video, folks. We're back with another one very, very soon. As you could see, if you follow my Instagram, 
Um, I am continuing work once again on the haunted 1969 Mercedes 280 SE known as Janus, Janus Joplin baby. Yeah, we got that mechanical fuel injection just a humming. And I think I found the problem why it hasn't started in so, so long. Something is 180 degrees off. So the timing's not right. If you are mechanically inclined, you know what I'm talking about. So maybe there will be a start video coming up very soon for old Janice. I'd love for that to happen. Yep. I'd love for you to uh, subscribe to this series as well. So please check out all my other videos on YouTube. And we're back with another one very, very soon. It's a beautiful day here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I, happy hope, and I hope that you have a beautiful day as well. All right. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm speaking before I'm thinking. And that can get you in trouble. Ooh. All right. Bye, everybody.